Hello friends, in this lecture we are going to learn about a problem that is known as vertex cover problem and we will prove that it is NP complete. And so overall we will learn about proving a problem to be NP complete. We will look at vertex cover problem and we will reduce the click problem, click problem to vertex cover problem. So let's begin. So what is a vertex cover problem? So if you are given a graph, okay, so if you are given some graph, so vertex cover is the set of vertices which covers all the edges, okay. So here if you see in this graph, so what happens is this W and Z they cover all the edges. So if you see, Z covers these three, W covers these two, okay? So what does cover means? Cover means that an edge is covered by two of its incident vertices. So this edge is covered by Z and V, okay? So if the vertex covers, y covers this edge, x covers this one, z covers this, these three, okay? So like this. So let's see the formal definition. Vertex cover of undirected graph GVE is a subset of vertices, okay? V dash is subset of the V such that if UV is an edge, okay, then it means that, okay, either U belongs to V dash or V belongs to V dash or both okay so v dash is a set of vertices okay which is a subset of v such that any edge uv in that either u will belong to v dash or v will belong to v dash or both of them will belong to it okay each vertex cover each vertex covers its incident edges okay so each vertex covers whatever edges are going out of it so e1 e2 and e3 they are covered by this V. This is the idea, okay? So, now our problem of vertex cover is find vertex cover of minimum size, okay? So, this is an optimization problem. So, here we saw in this W and Z, they cover the edges, okay? So, this is a vertex cover of size 2, minimum size. Now, the decision corresponding decision problem is, does the graph has vertex cover of size k, okay? So, here does the vertex cover has a size 1? No. Does this vertex graph has vertex cover of size 2? Yes, z and w, okay? Now, we have to prove that this problem is NP complete, okay? This problem is hard. And to prove that, what we do, the idea again is, we take a black box we assume there is a black box to which if you give an input of graph and ask it a question that does this graph has a vertex cover of size k it will answer you yes or no does this graph has a vertex cover of size 3 if it has it will answer yes if no it will answer no okay but we will try now to reduce a problem of click okay so click problem is another okay so click problem is this is in this graph a click means a sub graph or of this graph for which all nodes are connected to each other so u v x and y are all connected to each other so this is a click and a click the maximal click is the maximum size of the click in this vertex so this six node graph has a word uh, click of size four in fact, it has a click of size 3 like u, y, x, y, v, x and so on. Okay, because these three are all connected but the maximum size is 4. So, click decision problem is does the graph has a click of size k. Okay, so now we want to reduce this problem to this vertex cover problem. What does this mean? We will have a transformation here which is polynomial time. So, I will, you give me any click problem and input for this will be a graph with vertices and edges. I will somehow transform this input 
for click problem into an input for my vertex cover problem and i say that okay i have a black box which can solve the problem of vertex cover okay so now this graph you gave i transform it into a complement graph okay what is complement graph we will see but i can transform this graph which is input for click into a complement graph in polynomial time then i give it as input to the vertex cover problem and i have one black box which can solve this problem and gives me the answer yes or no and i say that okay if this graph g bar transformed from g has a vertex curve of size k then this graph gv also has a click of okay so this if it has a click of size k then what will happen this will have a click a vertex curve of size mod v minus k okay so this is the transformation i ask that okay does this graph has a click of size k where it has n or mod v is equal to n nodes then i transform it into another graph in polynomial time and i ask does the graph complement graph has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k if it has it means this graph has a click of size k and if it does not have a vertex cover of size mod v minus k it means this graph does not have a click of size k we prove that and if you prove that it means that okay now this is polynomial time which is easy and i know that okay this click problem is hard okay this is already np complete so and let's assume that this is polynomial time or easy so now if this is the case if it is polynomial time then what will happen the click problem can be transformed into vertex cover problem in polynomial time and it can be solved also in polynomial time so it means that this problem is not hard but we have already proved someone that okay this is hard so we take some problem for the literature which is already proved to be hard so it means if it is already hard you are showing that it can be solved in polynomial time or in easily so this is wrong this means our assumption that vertex cover problem is polynomial time is wrong and hence this work is also hard or np complete okay so this is the idea now let's try to see how we proceed so first to show a problem is np complete we show that it is in np okay so you are given a certificate basically a solution for vertex cover we can easily verify in polynomial time if it covers all the edges so for example here in this one we have to find if we can verify in polynomial time if a set of edges a set of vertices covers the graph so if v and x are given here so what you do enumerate all the edges u v v x and x w so there will be mod e edges and i now just enumerate all the vertices so for example u covers u v so this is gone and then what happens u does not cover anything else v covers u v it is already covered v covers v x this is also covered and then it covers nothing other so x now we come to x x covers okay so but we have this this is the case okay so sorry so v is there so v covers uv so this is done okay and v covers vx this is done and it covers nothing more now we come to x in this list so x covers uvx and it covers xw so all are covered so this means i can check in o of mod e that okay everything is covered or not so this is the polynomial time okay we can check or verify that the problem is in np so this is fine next we proceed to the reduction so my reduction here is simple so from g the input to click graph i transform this graph into g bar okay what is g bar so it has basically the edges exactly the edges that are not there in the this graph so for example if this is the case okay this graph is a b c d okay these are the edges in g so now what will be the edges in g bar okay so there will be a b c d so it will have a b will not be there okay so it will have ac okay 
and then it will have BC will be there, BD will be there and C will have CA, CD is there and D will have DB. Okay, so these are the vertices. Okay, so if you cover these like this, so these are the red ones and they cover all the edges. Okay, so this is G bar. So this basically complement graph. So U, V in edge are there where U and V are not in E they are edges in here okay and u and v should not be the same okay so this has exactly the edges that are not there in g so now we show and this can easily be done in polynomial time this transformation you just in e bar matrix the adjacency matrix convert 0 to 1 okay and 1 to 0 that is there okay so now let's try to accept at the u comma u should not be there okay so now we see okay why is it so this transformation correct so transformation is graph g that input to the click if it has a click of size k okay graph g has a click of size k if and only if g bar has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k okay this is the thing we have to prove okay so if g has a click of size k then your g bar has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k and if your g bar has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k your g will have a click of size k so this is the meaning of if and only if so now let's try to see first that okay let's g has a click of size k okay g has a v dash which is a click of this and it has size k then we say that okay g bar will have a vertex cover of size mod v minus k so how so what we do is let's see this graph so if u comma v belongs to e bar okay so if i made a graph g bar okay and its edges if u comma v is in e bar then what will it mean it will mean that first let's see if in v dash what was there in the click g the click was v dash so in that all the nodes are connected with each other okay that's why it's a click so now if u comma v is in e bar then it means there is no edge in this subgraph in the click so there is no edge in this click so now what it says if u comma v is in e dash okay then what will happen it means now in g bar this part will have no edge okay so it means if there is an edge in g bar then and that edge is u v then at least u or v so either what what at least u or v they will not belong to v dash isn't it because now in this part because all edges are gone so there will be no edge in u v w y z okay so if there is an edge and that edge is u v at least one of the u or v should be does they don't belong to v dash or they belong to v minus v dash okay so every pair in v dash was because it was connected so now what will happen if there is an edge uv at least one of them will belong to so v minus v dash or at least u or v does not belong to v dash okay so like this if you take this edge so at least this is belonging to v minus v dash or this does not belong to this set v dash okay so because all the edges in this were gone okay so it means what whatever edges are there so at least one of the connected vertices will belong to v minus v dash okay and it means it will cover all the edges okay so in this all the edges they are there so whatever edges are there so no edge is there which is between u and v which are there in this click because of this property in comp reduction okay so now whatever edges are there at least one of their incident vertices will be in v minus v dash and it means v minus v dash covers all the edges and hence if graph g has a click of size k then g bar will have a vertex cover of size v minus v dash you see any one so u and y okay u comma y so in this at least u is there which does not belong to v dash z and x so at least x is there which does not belong to v dash so v minus v dash there will be always 
in any edge there will be one node that belongs to v minus v dash and it will cover everything so this proves that okay graph g has a click of size k then g bar has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k now we have to prove other way around if g bar has a vertex cover of size k okay then this will have a or mod v minus k this will have a graph g will have a click of size k okay so let's think about that so g bar has a vertex cover v dash okay so g bar has a vertex cover v dash okay where v dash size is v mod v minus k so now what will happen if this has a vertex cover of size mod v minus k okay what will happen this vertex cover will cover they will have now what will happen v dash is the vertex cover this means that any edge will be there at least u will belong to that v dash or v will belong to v dash or both u and v will belong to v dash okay so now this is for vertex cover so now what will and this is g bar then in g what will happen these edges will go and other edges will come so now what will happen now g bar so this was g bar then in g what will happen now here what was there whatever edges were there they were in the vertex cover v dash at least one of them belonged okay so now in v minus v dash will be the set of nodes okay for which what will happen they okay so let's try to see what will happen for all u comma v belonging to v okay if u comma v belongs to e bar it means u belongs to v dash or v belongs to v dash or both okay where v dash is the vertex cover so now for all v belonging to v if u u and v okay belonging to v if u does not belong to v dash and v also does not belong to v dash means the vertex cover so now in g bar the vertex cover is v dash and if for all u and v where u also does not belong to the vertex cover and v also does not belong to the vertex cover okay then what will happen there will be no edge between them okay because vertex cover definition is they will cover all the edges so if so that is the thing so in this these two are vertex cover so all the other nodes that are not in the vertex cover okay so this means there should be no edge between them because then what will happen these this u and x are the vertex cover for this graph okay but if we have choose two vertices that are not in the vertex cover then there will be no edge between them because the definition of vertex cover is that they should be covered by covered by that edge should be covered by the vertex okay so there will be no edges in the on the among the vertices that are not in the vertex cover okay so this means that for the graph g bar now for this g in fact okay so what will happen it will have so in this part okay this part is which which has which is out of the vertex cover and hence in this there will be no edges between the vertices of this so now when we go back to g so of course they will have edges between each other all of them and then it will become a click so <clears throat> now we prove that okay if v dash was there the vertex cover then v minus v dash in this set of nodes there will be no edge between this okay so if you choose u and v from v minus v dash where v dash is the vertex cover of a graph then in this there will be no edges so hence in this if you make a g bar complement of this graph so there will be edges between all of these nodes and it will become a click okay so this is the proof so i hope you understand this thanks a lot